All right, y'all. So as much as I loathe the uh, cabbage worm, I have not been coming out with the BT bactilosis. The I, I I can't say it, y'all. Uh, BT is this uh, organic bacteria for uh, uh, caterpillars and worms that uh, if you spray the plants and they eat it. It's a really terrible death for them. They starve to death. It doesn't sound pleasant, but so, um, yeah, of course they do what they do. They're coming after my brassicas, you know, my brassicas are back there, you know, you can't see cause it's a jungle out there. And, uh, I just realized why I was not, uh, ooh, it really is a jungle back here, y'all. Oh my Lord. Uh, why I, uh, was not spraying my brassicas oh my god like look at oh my god like y'all they've come after y'all let me show you what they've done oh okay and i'm about to spray look y'all look what they've done it felt like a stuffed in tomato oh my god like last week these are like, oh my God, like, you know. Y'all look at that. Look at like, oh my God, they've had some good eating here. Oh my God. Look y'all, this, this right here is a leaf. Um, There is no one to blame for myself. And I still vouch that I put myself first and now I'm gonna get to spring. So uh, yeah, I put myself first and the other reason why I, I kind of realized I wasn't spraying. I realized today, like I was, you know, coming to like, okay, you know, let me go spray. And then I, I was aware that I stopped myself and like, oh, well, let me, I'll do it later. I'll do something else. So I've been meditating. So I've been like in the awareness and I'm like, wait a second. So I caught that. I was like avoiding, uh, doing this with the BT and it's because I have not touched this thing. Let me show you. Y'all, so like my life has been like in disarray for like, I wanna say the past 20 freaking years. <laughs> so, um, but for the garden too. And so this is what I use. Oh my God, look at it. This is what I use to spray uh, the BT. Uh, you know, I just pump the water here and uh, put some water and BT in here. And I realized today that since it was tucked away in a dark corner of my um, somewhat spooky need to be cleared out garage, I was afraid to touch it. Therefore, therefore the cabbage worms have had a luxurious feast. But no more, no more, no more feasting. Nope, we are about to spray these plants with some BT and get some good growing leaves on this bunch. Yeah, there's still hope. Hey y'all, I believe I can bring them back. So look, I have brought back plenty of plants from the brink of death. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get those holy rollers off. Uh, yeah, actually, huh. Y'all, this is the worst that my cabbages and my brassicas have ever, ever been. So, this is the worst. We will not get to this point anymore. Let me show you. I swear it was just last week that I was on here with this plant. Uh, really, this one really was just like a couple days ago. And look at like how much, like this is a whole leaf. I have never seen it. You see all these worms? I have, no, oh my God, look at all these worms. Oh my God. I have never, I have never seen a plant eaten oh my god like oh my god it's so many of them there's so many of them. that's my fault 
I was uh, a couple of days ago, I said I was gonna come out here and spray. And here I am to do it. And oh my God, within those couple of days, Okay, so I need to figure out a game plan. Uh, let me set up the camera and see how I'm gonna fix this. Cause these worms are all over the place and they definitely have eaten the tenderest of the plants. But uh, it's August 31st, my uh, first frost date is not until October 22nd. I got time to do something, so okay, let's figure it out. Oh my god, y'all! Oh my god, like there are so many worms on here, it's ridiculous. Oh my god. Let me, oh my God, okay, all right. Yeah, this is, man, uh-huh, oh my God. Let me just, okay, take this whole thing off. Okay, y'all, cabbage worm, you wanna know the damage a cabbage worm can do, like, here goes y'all like like a little snip here and there you know from a cabbage worm is okay because uh actually like the little snip uh it produces this uh hormone within uh brassica that's really good for us oh my god like there's even this this big fat one Right there, I didn't even see his butt. He's so fat, man. You see him? He's so fat. Oh my God. Oh, there's so many. Okay, so y'all, here's the game plan. Uh, there are so many worms on here, so many. And um, it's all me. This could have been prevented, y'all. This is a lesson with our health or like whatever. When we put stuff off, it's like, I'm going to get to it, I'm going to get to it. Know that the putting off, there are consequences to that. And here are my consequences. So, I accept it. I've never seen no shit this bad. Oh my God. What the? This is a whole sexy leap at one point. Okay. So, game plan is to get all of these leaves all get as many and there's a lot of them y'all there's a lot get as many worms off of these plants from hand as possible um get off the i mean like the bit like there is no point for this leaf to still I ain't never seen no shit uh this leaf to still be on so get all those off to try to give like the little bulb oh my god yeah y'all they're even like really actually nope I don't even there are so so many worms on this plant. Sometimes you just need to know when to let go. It's early enough in the season, and I still have enough brassicas uh, and stuff that can be saved. This one, y'all, let me show you. I'm just this one, just definitely gonna let it go. I mean, y'all saw like what I just pulled off. Y'all see all these worms on here. Oh my God, that's crazy. Look in here, all the worms on here. There's so many. Oh my God. Um, this butt right here just crawling. 
on this video is y'all i'm learning how to record so forgive the back and forth the switching uh in uh orientation but um so yeah uh this big one i'm gonna have to let it go so how i'm gonna rectify this situation i'm gonna go through each one because i have a lot of brassicas those are like cabbages kale um broccoli uh i have a lot of those so I'll go around i'm going to assess the damage and um some of these is just their time to leave now and i'm going to determine which ones to keep and which ones to dig up say goodbye and uh i have enough time in planting season definitely put something in this place so let me see Hey y'all, so uh, here I am seeing the worst devastation uh, I have ever seen on uh, brassicas and a cabbage plant. Man, I've never, oh my God. So now I know. So usually throughout the year, I'm like so obsessive with the cabbage worms because I know like what damage they can do. I ain't never seen no shit like this though. Um, you know, I've never seen nothing like this. Um, geez. And I have seen them wreak havoc within a couple of days but not to this capacity to where uh, man, there's like so many worms, so many at the root here, like at the ball where a nice fresh head, oh my goodness, the more layers I keep pulling back, like, I don't know if y'all can see. Oh, got my gloves on y'all, I'm trying to, it's not working. Okay. Y'all see, so this is like the worst I have ever seen. So like a couple of days ago, like this little bulb was fine, but now like you see the further I go in, like they are in there. So there's like no point for me to keep this plant. And, um, it makes me sad because uh, I saw the potential in it, but um, so um, I got sent before the train. I think the train is coming again. It's right here. I'm about to talk. Okay. And, uh, feel like it's gonna blow. not blowing okay but um so i don't know so like i saw the potential in this cabbage and it seemed like it was gonna be a big beautiful lovely cabbage uh and it could have been saved it, it could have been if i had gotten on it uh a couple days ago when i said i was going to but um you know what i am i have no choice but to accept this but um I am okay. I, I'm not gonna, you know, I, I'm learning how to accept when, uh, unwanted, oh my God, look at all these worms. It's actually kind of cool, honestly, looking at all these worms, but also kind of like, what the fuck? Um, like, is he eating right now? Yeah, it's so interesting. Anyway, so, um, I guess where I'm at with this is that so um, I really am doing my best. It's not like I was like eating bonbons and stuff. The reason why I wasn't fertilizing this, you know, I was writing up the garden guide and getting that edited, you know, and <laughs> learning MailChimp and how to get everything, you know, right on the back end, you know, to promote the garden guide to you all and stuff. And um, so I'm at the very beginning of 
switching this from a hobby to a business. So, and like, you know, I'm at the, the root part of my business. So, um, so that's where my energy went to. Uh, and not to this, man, like there are so many worms here, dude. I, mean, just, I can't even tell you, like everywhere I look, there are just so many worms. Just like, I don't know if you just see from like every angle, it's just, yeah, I, I don't know if you all can see that. It's just crazy, man. So, um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through here, pull off leaves. First, I'm gonna give you all a shot. I think I'm gonna keep it real, and this is some real garden shit, man. You know, you're not always perfect, and I'm gonna show that. So, this, uh, yeah. So let's open up some more space to plant some more shit, or some more stuff. So, okay. Ron uh, Finley would call it shit. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me show you. Okay, so um, some of these I'm gonna have to pull up. It's just what it is. And it's early enough in the season. Oh. It's early enough in the season to where I can um, put some more things in the ground. Some of these I can um, just, they have a uh, enough leaves like this this whole plant's gonna have to go because like every single plant is like just full of like this freaking holes man yeah that whole plant's gotta go but this one this one's okay so this one i'm gonna keep this one spray this one and let this continue on but like this one's gotta go so that's what i'm gonna do come through here um clean up what i can and uh get rid of what i need to spray with bt i was coming out here to like pull up the tomato plants too to like do this with the bt and pull up um the tomato plants to get the rest of the tomatoes so i can start um preserving the tomatoes but uh this has my full attention right now my full attention Hey y'all, so, okay, I've cleared uh, most of this area here, so let me show you uh, what I've done. Okay, so oh, the big one here, and there was a couple others, I've pulled that out of this bed. I've got a few of them here that have got like a ton of worms on here. I, I'm just gonna like smush them and have like a good old like stump party. Uh, that's what I was doing here. So the ones that are still here, I pulled off like the leaves that I thought like really needed to come off. So, so pulled off some leaves. You know, there's still some holy ones here, but I'm okay with a few holy, you know, leaves. But so I took those off and with the worms on there, just like just smushed them, just smushed the worms. So. Yeah, I pulled up a couple that were here. Yep, smushed some leaves and so I'll just leave like leaves here for compost to compost here. That's what I do. Um, now this one, actually, I'm going to pull this one up, but there is a frog that's on here. And uh, it just, I don't know if it's still on here. So this one is actually going to come up. But uh and that one is gonna come up too. I just didn't wanna pass the frog. But um, the rest of these I'm gonna keep and um, take care of them properly and uh, see how they come back. So I'll be recording their comeback. So I'm believing in the comeback, y'all, for real. Um, so I'm gonna do the same to this bit. And like, I've got kale back there too, geez. Uh, 
<laughs> so yeah y'all so here's the thing i like, having like a big garden i've got like 13 beds here like it's real cute and sexy and all but the more you have like the more work you gotta do like i'm sweating out here which that's what i want to do so i'm just saying like you know if you look at people and you look like oh man they got that big garden i want that too just know that the more you got the more you got to maintain so let me get these over here get these taken care of and then um, I'm gonna show you how to mix this BT and how to spray it to prevent the same thing from happening to, happening to your brassicas. So um, let me get to work. Hey y'all, I really like this angle by the way. This is the angle I'm gonna play with more. So um, I'm here in the other bed and uh, man, honestly, I think most of these are probably gonna have to come out like from, where I'm looking and from me looking through here and I'm, I can see like the underside of leaves. Man, it is not cute, man. Let me pull off a leaf, a couple, and let me show you what, what these are. Actually, I think most of these are probably going to come out. So, uh, that's cool. Make room for some other uh, fall veggies. So that's fine. So. Let me pull a couple of these leaves so you can see what is on the other side of these. Oh my God. I really think it was more than that spray. Like, can y'all see that? Actually, it seemed like it was more than this. Honestly, I think some of them like fell off. Y'all, some of them did fall off. So, um, yeah, man. Talk. Yeah, cabbage worms, I gotta say, out of all the pests or whatever, it's the cabbage worm for me, y'all. It's one that you definitely need to like keep up on for real um so like this one here i don't know if you all can see this one like they went to town can you all see they went to town on this one here let me just pull that up completely Oh my God. Okay, so here's the plant that they have definitely gone to town on. And like y'all see all that? We don't, we, no, mm -mm. no, no, no. So, yeah, stop all these. Ah, oh, man, goddamn worms, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go through here just like I did the other. Okay. So I pulled up the plants that I'm going to pull up and I have mixed my BT in my, I don't know what you call this, but uh, it's a pump here. So uh, I mix one tablespoon of the BT. Uh, let me get that so you can see what you're I could just stop the recording, but uh, so you don't have to get this brand, but you know, it'll say a uh, BT where I keep saying BT, but I, I don't know, y'all can see that, but uh, caterpillar killer, so that's what this is, and uh, it's 
but at least for this brand for safer it is one tablespoon per gallon of water and so from a little pump here So I gotta build up some pressure. Okay, the pressure is built. Alright, it's been a couple years since I've used this. But there we go. You see how that goes? And just make sure you get under the leaves. See? I hear some worms here. We're gonna get that worm off and liberally spray like do not be shy with the spring because these shit, these worms are no joke y'all you know shit, i just showed y'all what they do i showed you what they do this so and this stays on until it rains so reapply with the rain Yeah. Okay, and this, it doesn't only have to be for your brassicas. This can also, yep, there's one right there. Uh-huh. Yeah, but when you spray it, boy, they should be curl up. Yeah. So it can be used for your uh, tomatoes. Boy, there's some thick suckers here. Boy, there's some thick ones here, man. Boy. Uh... They can be used. I've had um, like worms eat my pepper plants before. So you can use for your pepper plants. So caterpillars, any kind of worms you got an issue. This is it, y'all. So, um, yep, this is it. I will keep y'all updated on the uh, recovery of these brassicas. And thank you for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're still here. Bye. Thanks.